So this is a 2016 BMW 320i with the dead battery. So this is the key fob for the car. So when you press this button on the back right here, this small one, it'll release the key right here. So you can use this key to try to manually unlock your trunk. All right, so this is the trunk lid. So usually there would be a key slot to open the trunk manually if the battery dies. I don't know if uh, only this model doesn't have it, but the older 3 Series have a keyhole about right here. So when you get a dead battery, you can use this key right here to manually open it. So another way to access the battery in the trunk, if the battery is dead, is just to unlock the driver's side and then we'll just open up the back door. So not all 3 Series models have trunk access to the back seat, like this one. So I can't crawl back in the trunk and just pull the trunk release lever in the back. All right, so the last and only option right now to get the trunk open to replace the battery is to use either a jump pack or some jumper cables and hook it up to a car and give it some power so we can use the electronic uh, trunk release button. So this is the negative terminal for the battery and under this red cover with the positive symbol, this is where the positive side of the battery is. All right, so I got the jump pack hooked up, so I'm just gonna turn this on. All right, so now the car has power, so we can just hit this button right here. So now the trunk should be released. All right, so now we can disconnect the jump pack. All right, so the battery is in the on the passenger side of the trunk. So we're just gonna get this out right here. So the battery is just held on by uh, these two 10 millimeter bolts. So we're just going to undo those. Alright, now they should just come out. So to disconnect the battery, I'm just going to take off this 10mm uh, nut right here with the wrench. So you don't need to take off the nut all the way, you just got to loosen it so you can wiggle off this uh, negative terminal connection. All right, so I got the negative battery terminal disconnected. So next I'm gonna disconnect the positive side. So it's just this uh, 10 millimeter nut right here. So I'm just gonna loosen that up so I can wiggle out this, this positive connection. All right, so the last thing to remove before we can get this battery out is to take that battery hold down clamp out. So that's held on by a 13 millimeter bolt. So I'm just gonna use a, a ratchet with extension and the socket. All right, so now that the battery is ready to come out, I just uh, ran a zip tie through this hole right here. And then I just hooked it to the bottom of this, uh, of the positive connection terminal. So that's supposed to hold it up so I can remove the battery and install the battery without uh, hitting the positive terminal connection. All right, so we also got to remove this battery vent hose right here. So we just pull it out like that and it'll disconnect. All right, so I got the old battery out. So this is just uh, the old battery compared to the new battery. So they're the same size. All right, so I got the new battery back in. So I'm just gonna reconnect this uh, vent hose to the battery. So that should just pop in. Just like that. Oh. Just put this back for now. All right, so now I'm gonna put back the battery tie down clamp before I reconnect the positive and negative terminal. All right, so I got the battery tie down clamp installed back. 
So now I can cut the zip tie right here and then install the positive terminal connection. Alright, so we can remove the cover now. And then install this back on. And then just push it down, just make sure it seats correctly. And then we can tighten that 10 millimeter nut. Now we can remove the cover for the negative terminal. So once we connect this, we should hear all the electronics start powering up. All right, there we go. All right, now we're just kind of tightening that 10 millimeter nut. All right, so the battery is connected on both terminals. So now we're just gonna put back these uh, two 10 millimeter bolts that hold this uh, bracket in place. All right, so before I start the car with the new battery, I'm gonna use a scan tool to reprogram the battery to the car. All right, so we're gonna go to diagnose. All right, so we're gonna go to BMW and press okay. So we're gonna go to coding and program, three series. So it's the F30. All right, so we're gonna go to battery change. Yes. All right, so we're gonna go with 90 amp hour AGM. So it says switch off ignition. We. All right, so after coding the new battery, we're gonna register it, to, so we go to special function. All right, so on the special function page, we're just gonna go to body and scroll all the way down and register the new battery. All right, so we're gonna go to register battery exchange Hit F2 to register battery exchange. And then let's go to F1. So it's a not an OEM, so we're gonna hit no. That's it. All right, so now we can disconnect the scanner tool. And then we can fire this up. All right, so now we can put this trim cover piece back on. Turn it this way. All right. 